Do you guys hear that? What is that sound? Little pitter pattering all over the floor downstairs? Maybe some howling? Is someone in your house? Nope, it's just your 17-year-old toy poodle who can't sleep anymore. So you landed on this video because your dog is pacing around the house, whining, crying. Maybe they don't stand still anymore when you try to hold them. I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and I'm gonna explain to you what is happening to your old dog and some things you can do to fix it. So let me introduce my perfect and relatable doggy actress. This is Roxy. She's a 16 year old toy poodle. She has diabetes and she's starting to circle at night and even bump into walls. And sometimes she's howling and her owners are complaining that she can't sleep. So I made this video because I seriously see these appointments at least once a week with owners struggling with their older dogs. So this can happen in small breed dogs and large breed dogs. And what it is, is it's doggy dementia or canine cognitive dysfunction disorder in older dogs. The key features of doggy dementia are progressive confusion, reversal of day-night wake sleep patterns or sundowner syndrome, and poor adaptability to new situations or changes in routine, such as moving furniture around the house or moving to a new house and your older dog can't adapt. So the second thing that could be keeping your older dogs up at night is pain. So spinal pain or hip dysplasia can make them uncomfortable and they just can't sleep at night. So controlling their pain will be one thing you can do so that you can also sleep at night. You can first try non-drug options such as getting them a more comfortable orthopedic bed or playing soothing sounds in the house or even plugging in a nightlight that can help your older dogs who can't see well sleep at night. If this doesn't work, you can also try calming supplements, such as CBD oils, which a lot of pet owners have success with. Try using melatonin, L-theanine, and tryptophan calming supplements sold online for pets to see if this makes them tired. You can also give them fish oils, turmeric, and joint supplements to help with their painful arthritis. Now this is where I come in with your prescription medications. So I love using anti-inflammatories for joint pain and overall pain in your pet's body that might help them sleep well at night. So I like to use things like Rimadyl and Galaprant, which are NSAIDs, to just take away any inflammation in your pet's body so they can sleep comfortably. The next thing I like to use is gabapentin. This is a nerve modulating medication for nerve pain and it really does help calm pets down. And when those don't work, I take out the big guns, which are Valium and Xanax. And these things can help your dog be calm at night so they're not constantly pacing around the house with their doggy dementia. And if that doesn't work and owners are really, really desperate, we can use a pet tranquilizer called Ace Promazine. This is a strong medication. It does work in desperate situations, but it's not great for long-term therapy, but there is that option out there if you're super desperate. Lastly, I know you guys are going through a really hard time right now, and that is why you landed on this video with your old dog who's struggling with doggy dementia, they're walking all night, bumping into walls. I just wanna reassure you that you do have the option of putting your pet to sleep. And it's not the wrong thing to do. It's actually the right thing because you need to look out for the quality of life of your pet. And if they're walking around, bumping into things, the next thing that's coming is they're gonna get incontinent. They might start peeing on themselves. They can't stand up. They can fall into the pool. They could fall off a second story of stairs. They could wander outside and get hit by a car or they can't escape a predator. So there's a lot of things that pet owners are worried about when their dog is super old and they have to be with them all the time. It's very stressful for owners and I mentor them on a weekly basis. So you need to be prepared in your heart to do the right thing for your pet, which is put them to sleep. I've made videos about this on my channel. You can go find them. I'll put a card right here that you guys can click on to go watch that video. And then if you have any questions or concerns, please put it in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you. All right, guys. So if you're not sure where you are in this end of life journey, the best person to help you make this call is your local veterinarian that you trust with your pet. 
So let them assess your pet, have a medication plan for them to keep them comfortable. And don't be so sad because these dogs can still keep living for years and years. But you just wanna make sure you're making the right call for them and their quality of life. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up to help this video circulate to other pet owners like yourself. And I'll see you next week with another veterinary video.